here. Now, you may think, well, let's go ahead and get to chattering, sneering twins for the finale. Well, of course not. What are you kidding? We're gonna do other... Remember, the one rule of RPGs. When the world is in danger, that is when you go out and do side quests. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add Sanjiro. Basically, a few of my, a few side, side characters for just some running around. Not Sime, I haven't used her for forever. Thank you for choosing just kind of running around me. characters. I will do my best. Now, I will need to do something really quick. And now that the door is closed, and we have our... Whoa, I just realized, yeah, that sword is huge. That sword is huge, look at it. It's big, and cool, and intimidating. I forgot I gave him that. Anyway, first of all, we now will go and collect a few items. This, we actually get twice, uh, twice items. Yeah, that works. We get double items for a number of these keywords. So, we'll be going these for good reason. Our first word we're going to is noisy, sacred, ringing ears, a level 61 battlefield, what, or level, field. Not a big problem. So, what I'm going to do is I will just skip on down to where we're going in the dungeon. Up the left side on the bottom floor before we get in this treasure chest, the ladies cap. A special piece of equipment. Oops, the right equipment. That is, uh, somewhere, here we go, ladies cap, it's level 73, it gives you negative to defense and ability, or evade, but it gives you far ref, which is not bad, and a paralyze ability. This is something I may sub in, oh, no, this is not something I would sub in, but it is something. Something I forgot to mention about this dungeon is throughout it, there are data, there are data bugged, uh, what were they? House monkeys, or house golems, or something. House monkey? Oh, I feel bad. House golems, or something like that. And they are a pain when you get their their uh, data bit, uh, the virus out of them, because then they are physical tolerant. You can't get it off. For our efforts coming to the God Statue, we get the three floor tower, which is the entire reason we came here. It is a special trade item that we will be using in in a later time. Down this cultural craft might come in handy for a trade. Indeed, it might. Well, I will meet you at the uh, Chaos Gate to show the next area we will be going to. The next area we go to is on Sigma Unusual Ghostly Remnant. As before, I will meet you on the dungeon floor of interest, which is probably the bottom floor. See you then. Down here at the bottom of, of the blah 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 place is the ladies' mail, this dungeon. The ladies' mail is a non-wave uh, master that gives you negative defense and evasion, but gives you a charm ability and a sleep ability. This, I believe, I will use I will keep on hand for the goblin tag from now on. Otherwise, there's no reason I would ever sub this in, except if I had macros. Hooray for FF11. Now I'll meet you at the god statue directly above me. Now this area contains within it data bugged uh, t -t 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 sand hills, which are not a problem, and data bugged moo guardians, which are bitches. Now we have the doll amulet, another trade item, which will be used to get something in a later time. Charm for easily deliver, <laughs> charm for easy delivery and child. Ah, I got it now. All right, now I'll meet you at the chaos gate for the next area, and uh, see you there. Oh, this takes forever. The next one we're going to is Sigma Barking Hot Blooded 500 Lohan. That's not a hard way to or a. <laughs> That's not a long. Well, whatever. Mouthful. I'll see you at the dungeon. And here at the top, here on uh, uh, B4, we have ourselves the Lady Gloves. These give you actually an increase in defense. Interesting. That's kind of 
odd considering how they've been working so far. Gives you a confuse and a curse abilities. Interesting. It's certainly not the worst thing, and it actually is better than my ocean gloves. But technically, my wow, it's better than my ocean gloves by a good deal. Oh, I like the uh, the water attack though on my ocean gloves, which is why I'm using them. But dang, that's pretty nice. I'll have to keep those in mind when uh, when I uh, tackle the final boss. This place is covered in freaking data bugged house golems. Now we have the Mongolia Miso! Scarlet Plate and Ivory Barrette. No, I do not want the Ivory Barrette. The Mongolia Miso might come in here. Oh, they didn't even decide to give it a neat little story on it. That's boring. Alright, so I will meet you at the Chaos Gate for the next one! Yes. Next one we're going to is Ancient Destroyer's Battlefield. Whoosh. I will meet you at the bottom of the dungeon in the appropriate areas as per I have so far. On the bottom of... of the, uh, sorry. On the right of... Uh, before we get the Lady Shoes. And I will exchange it for the... Uh, Is it Storm Lord Rod? Yeah, that's it. Now, what do the lady shoes do? Lady shoes? Well, they're not bad. They give a slow and a uh, poison, but uh, they're okay. They're not nearly as good as my lady, sh uh, la my uh, lucky shoes, and therefore they're not nearly as good as my uh, time sandals. Now up here at the GOT statue, let's see what we got. Also, by the way, basically all you have are database uh, giant worm worms, that flying dragon thing, and dagons, data train or data bug dagons. Both are annoying, but not bad. Scent of Jero. Uh, yes, I will. Let's go to our trade items. Oh, I forgot to put stuff away. Uh, no. I'm gonna go take care of my inventory once we get back to town. Now let's see what this one does. This one says... Scent of Jero cannot be used. Special treat from the Gero Hot Springs. There we go. See, isn't it so much nicer when they give us a story? Now I'll meet you at the Chaos Gate for another area. This is getting monotonous. The next one is that we're going to will be Sigma Greedy Gambler's Drift. Once again, I will meet you at the bottom of the dungeon at the place of interest. Whoa, what the fuck? This is weird. I don't know, I don't think this is, no, this is not a, this is weird. It's like Twilight on the snow plane. Up here on the left side of B4, we get the Lady Killers. I believe the last of the Lady Equipment and the last uh, uh, dungeon that we will have to go off to the side to get the items that we care about. In, uh, in it. The Lady Killers are a weapon that does 22 attack, lowers defense, lowers evasion, increases accuracy, and lowers your defense and evasion over there as well. However, it gives you Rig Geem, which is not bad. Opto, which is okay, I suppose. Tiger Claws, which is pointless. And then a Skill Drain, which is alright. All in all, not what I care about. Now, unlike the goblin equipment, the lady equipment does not give you a bonus when you equip all of it. So, yeah. Anyway, I will see you at the god statue. The only thing that you'll find that I found going through this entire dungeon were data bugged headhunters, which are really just not even worth your time. Though they did like to beat up on Natsume, and that caused a few problems after a while because I just ignored her health. <laughs> The boxed lunch is now what we have, along with a couple things we don't care about. The boxed lunch says special lunch from Takayama Line. Okay, interesting. What the, uh, 
Oh yeah, lady killers, that's right. Alright, so I will meet you for at the Chaos Cape for the next area! The next area we go to is called oh, Tested Morphine Alchemy and is a level 68 area. This may give me some trouble considering that neither of my party members are really well equipped. I should really change to my good team, my go team. But we'll see what happens. As always, I'll meet you at the uh, floor of interest. It's a little bit wrong when I told you there was nothing else here. I for or that was the la the lady blades were the last things we got. I forgot about the vampire blades. These are not really a bad um equipment. They have a dark darkness attacks are 44 and have comparable attack to what we usually ha what we actually uh, have. Only only the sun and sword blades are better than that. So I'm probably going to actually um. Let's see, take out the... Ah, oh, actually, the sun is the only one that I would take out. Interesting. The sun is the one I can't... Ta I don't need, and it's the strongest atta normal attack... Uh, ability... Or... Blah, 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 weapon. I'll, uh, debate that later. You look kind of neat, and they have a purple sheen. So I think they have a design on them. Anyway. Uh, I'll meet you at the god statue, then. The only thing out of the ordinary I found here, uh, monster-wise, were data-bugged death implants, which were a little bit tough, at least for uh, Natsume, because they loved kicking the crap out of her. Lots of stuff do. Anyway, here we get the Fields Deed, and an Artisan Soul, and an Ivory Burhet. An Artisan Soul, I've never really noted, is a uh, SP recovery item. That's very odd I've gotten that, actually. And the Fields Deed doesn't have a description. Thanks a lot, guys. It's, it's annoying when they have some of them have a description, some don't. Anyway, meet you back in town for the next area. The next area we're going to is Entwined Prejudiced Chaos on the Sigma server, as all the other ones were. Level 68 Wood Area. This may give us some trouble just like the last one did. As the per everything in this little... Uh, Trip, I'll meet you at the point of interest on in the dungeon. On in on on. Jeez, maybe I shouldn't have said anything, because here we have a Kokoro. Interesting. I got that and I actually that is actually a weapon that you can get you can data drain off of the uh, data bugged uh uh headhunters. And it is Basically, like all the other ones that you get off of data bug, uh, weapons you get off of special rare weapons you get off of the data bug enemies. It's a negative attack and defense for building up, killing uh, enemies without killing them. Interesting. And at the got statue, as you may have guessed, the only uh, enemies that I actually ran across, well, problemat problematic enemies, were the uh, data bugged um, headhunters. Jeez, I just said that. And I actually got a Kokoro from there, and one on screen, as you saw, which was very odd. Other than that, we have normal high-level enemies around here. From this, we get the Rogue Fragment, and actually a, a uh, trade item I care about. Rogue Fragment, we're not told anything about it, which is too bad. Uh, originally, when I first heard about that, I was like, no way, that's like a piece of aura? No, it's not. As far as I know, it's not. The next area we're going to is Abrasive False Tragedy, which I believe was actually on the bottom of a dot .hack sign uh, DVD. This is 69 area fire, it may give me a little bit trouble like the last few. Or maybe a little more. As per usual in this set of videos, I will meet you at the floor of interest. Oh, something actually is here. Check it out. I heard that the Golden Grunty was here, but all I got was a crystal stone. I don't want it, so you can have it. And now we have a crystal stone. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm only interested in the Golden Grunty. Oh, I'll give you these too. Nice. But this many? Are you sure? I believe there's only one of each, but I can't prove it and I don't really care to. Yeah. 
interested in the Golden Grunty. Why? Oh, uh, I don't know. I just am. Okay. <laughs> I only collect them. I haven't thought about what to do after that. You're determined. I don't know why she used a, a Sprite Ocarina there to go right outside the door, but whatever. Now, if you've watched the Dot Hack sign, you will know that she collects the Golden Grunties because it was the first time thing that she ever really got while playing the world. Uh, there was an episode where Black Rose was helping her out, and actually, when they finished the dungeon, they got a Golden Grunty. They didn't know what the heck it did or what it was for when they did it, and therefore, I think she just, Black Rose just gave it to A20 there. There's more to about her, and we've actually seen her in the previous volume, but that's about all I can really say, and really do say. There's, I believe she only showed up in one episode. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and see you at the bottom, where we actually get what we came for. Even though I think we can use the crystal s Is the crystal stone a, uh, key item? Does not look it. Does not look to be one. No. It is a uh, trade item, isn't it? Yep, there it is. Alright, so like I said, I will see you at the God Statue, probably. Aha! We have something here. Elk? What Elk's are you here. doing here? Uh, um... I... was looking for Mia, but... Oh, jeez. Well, Elk, Elk hasn't been in our party for, for, for the entire game, so... I don't know if he'll actually be able to take this guy out so easy, but... Certainly helping! He's doing a better job usually when he was in my party. Well, that was quick. Everybody do the dance! Oh. Never mind. Great job. That was a nice fight. Well, hi. Orca? <laughs> no, no. This old man isn't that famous. I'm Bear. Nice to meet you. I support new players. But you guys don't really need any assistance from me. And you. Huh? Me? You remind me... Of an old comrade. Elk and Tsukasa from Dahak Sign oh, yes. share a similar model. I don't know if this will be of any use to you, but I'd like for you to have it. Here. Well, so long and good luck. Who knows? We may run into each other again. I wasn't able to find Mia here either. I'll go look elsewhere. He is determined. Apparently that entire thing didn't even he barely even noticed it. Oh, well, we now have bear sword, which I'm actually going to save for a specific reason. It's not really an important reason. You can go ahead and give it to whoever you want. It doesn't matter. I just it's just something that I'm kind of anal about, so I'm keeping it for a private reason. Eventually, eventually you'll find out, but not anytime soon. So, over here, into the, uh, God Statue, we get the Maiden's Plot, the whole flippin' reason we came here. We got three treasures in this dungeon. That's amazing, that's a good, good way to finish this out. Next episode, I'll go ahead and show off everything, but until then, I'll see you later.